So I've brought up the word workspaces several times already in just this short first chapter. And I wanted to show you something that's very, very important. It's something that we do right now that's going to lead to a whole lot of interesting learning and play for you for probably weeks to come. To begin with, we're going to go up to Window. And we're going to go to Workspaces. And you're going to see here that we have several options. New Workspace which would mean that we're establishing a brand new workspace. Import workspace, this would be when we're going to open a workspace that either we've saved out or that we're getting from somebody else. And export workspace, this is when we're gonna save out a workspace so that we can either keep it for safekeeping for ourselves or so that we can go ahead and share it with a friend or a coworker or put it online, whatever, it doesn't matter. Now below that, you'll see that we only have one workspace currently, and that is default. So what I want to do is I want to import some workspaces. But before I do that, I want to show you where these workspaces would be, because these workspaces are going to be part of your install package. When you install Corel Painter, there'll be a separate install file. And if I just go to the install folder here, you'll see what happens when you install that Corel Painter 12 extra content exe file. That will be right here under extra content. And these are all of the folders that are installed as part of that. Now, under workspaces, as you can see, there is a folder for workspaces. There are seven workspaces for us to use. Now, each one of these will show a different aspect. We have concept sketching, illustration, portrait and collage, what's new, which is one we're going to be spending a decent amount of time in. Creativity, Photoshop, which is good for users who are comfortable with Photoshop and want to make the change to Painter because it has a lot of similarities to the way Photoshop is set up, and Watercolor. So how do we get these into Painter? Well, if we go back, like I said, to Painter, and we go back up to Window and Workspace, and we say Import Workspace, and we go to desktop. There's our Painter 12 install folder shortcut. I'm just going to double click on that and then I'm going to go to the extra content folder and I'm going to choose workspaces. Now I'm just going to choose the first one on the list and I'm going to hit open. And it's going to take a second. It's going to think really hard about what it is it's doing and then it's going to open that workspace. And it's going to be very different from what we had before sometimes and, and sometimes not so different. So right now this isn't all that different, but we know that it worked because if we go up to Window, Workspaces, you'll see that now we're on Concept Sketching Workspace. So we could switch back and forth between Default and Concept Sketch. But instead of doing that, I'm going to go ahead and import the next workspace. So I'm going to choose the Creativity Workspace. And this one will be significantly different. And also something worth bearing in mind, is that you're most likely going to be seeing a lot more stuff on your screen than what I'm seeing here. And I'll explain why that is in the very next video and how that we can both get to the same place so that we're seeing the same things. There we go. So this one has, as you can see, quite a lot of custom palettes. But for right now, I'm just going to go ahead up here. I'm going to move this one down, go to Window, Workspace. And you can see here we're on the Creativity Workspace. I'm going to say Import Workspace and I'm going to choose the illustration workspace. Now I want you to do the same thing and I want you to choose all of these workspaces and one by one get them installed into Corel Painter so that you can catch up with me in the next video.